have no idea if this is working. Um, and so bear over with me and probably Margo too. Um, am I on the live one? Yeah, that's HP and Arnie. Perfect. Okay. So, hey everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, we are 1,500 people watching as we speak. Still climbing. Let's hit 2,000. And we did 2,000 right there. Perfect. Hey everyone, my name is Alex Hurt Anderson. I play Ivor the Bonus on Vikings. And um, I'm doing uh, watching with, uh, along with Margot Ilser, who plays uh, Viterk on Vikings. And uh, I will try to find him right now. Just give me a second here. Uh, send requests. Wait a second. I'm waiting for Margot now. I just sent him a request to join. And there he is. There we go. Oh my God, thank you very much. Oh, I was so nervous. <laughs> I was so nervous about this thing. Oh my God. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, man. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. What are you, what are you doing these, doing these horrible lockdown I'm hours? doing absolutely nothing, man. Mm -hmm. I got nothing to do. That sounds great. Wow, um, nice. Yeah. Good talk. So, <laughs> like, no jobs, nothing. Well, I, got, I maybe got a job coming up in, in March or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same here, so, actually. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, what, what about the garden? Are you doing some gardening work? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing a little bit. Not now. Okay. It's fucking freezing cold outside. Yeah, so. getting dirty. Yes, okay. Yeah, it's perfect. So, nice. But, um, I'm, you know, it's a very old house, so I'm trying to fix some of the inside of it. But, yeah, uh, nice. it's, uh, it's cold as fuck. I'm freezing my ass off in there. I know, I know, I know. It's good to see you. I've, I've missed good you. To see you. I've missed you. How long has it been? Uh, too long. Too, too long. long. When was the last time? When was the last time? That was doing the um, the Danish uh, the network television thing. We did we did an interview together. You remember? Oh yeah yeah yeah. That's uh, right. During That's Christmas. Right. Yeah. Well, um, I I said hello to everyone. Uh, do you want to tell the people who you are? No, I'm good. They know who I am. I'm here. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Solid. No, good answer. Um, I'm Marco, uh, and I play Vitzerg on Vikings, along with Alex, who plays Ivor. Um, and we're going to do a watching watch with. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, watching that's, with. That's uh, we're going to watch the last episode of Vikings together, right? Exactly. Season 6, episode 20. Wow. So that is how many episodes is there in all? 91, 89 or something like 89, I think. Oh, I have no clue, man. 89. How is it 89? Because there was there was nine episodes in the first, I think. I might oh. be wrong. Uh, they'll yeah. probably tell me, the dear fans, but uh, something I have like that. No clue. So yeah, Michael wrote 80, 89 episodes to solo. Yeah. Solo, solo ride. Fucking okay. Amazing. Yeah. Pretty solid job on his, his part. So yeah. Alex, what what are we gonna do? When so we do what this, we're gonna uh... do because I've done this before, and but okay. now we need to now we need to time it, and that's the the biggest challenge we will have throughout this hour, you know. Okay. So what we're gonna do is probably time it. Do you got it? Do you got it fixed on your computer? The episode. I think so. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> you don't have. <laughs> Yeah, yeah no, just keep, keep talking. Just keep talking everyone, for a while everyone, and, uh, give Marco five minutes. I'm just gonna free roll this one. Um, no, I'm good. I'm ready. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Good stuff. On so, here. how many people are here? How many people are watching oh, right oh, now? There. Uh, right now, eight thousand three hundred. Yeah. So and right. yeah, we're probably gonna do. We should probably do some Q and A doing this thing. You know? Yeah, sure. So, so can you? Can you see some of the uh, all of the questions that are popping? I'm so yeah. sorry, but we're rookies at this stuff. Absolutely. We are, we're not, I'm not very idiots. technical. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not very technically oriented. So if there is any good question popping up, like this one right now from Sona51289, tell your experience with the Viking series, stuff like that. All right, but do you want to do that after, or do you want to do that? We're just gonna, the gonna do it through. We're just gonna you know, comment on everything. It's like, it's like a commentary. If you you remember those little the DVDs, and there was a, 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 a I have never seen was, one of those. No, I've never know. seen one of those. Yeah, I know you have. Okay. Don't do that. Okay. DVDs, okay, the little extra material. Yeah, yeah. I always watch that, and there was a commentary on it. I think that's probably what we should do, and I think okay. that sounds like a great idea. 
Let's do it. So Sounds good. it's everyone. It's episode 20, season six. So get your HBO Nordic up, find the episode. And in 15, 20 seconds, Margo and I will time it perfectly, obviously. Yeah. So the countdown will, from 20. Yeah, exactly. Something like that. And then we will press play simultaneously. And it will just synchronize automatically. I don't know how, but it will happen. And I'm All certain right. of it. How many people should be watching before we do that? Should we just fucking wait? I don't know. It's, 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 it keeps rising, but there's 9,000 now. So, but I think, I think this, is, this is what HBO told us to do. So I'm just rolling with that. All right. Cool. So what? 10 seconds? Should we count down? I'm ready yeah. whenever, man. Okay. Well, then, then it's going to be five, four, three... Two, one. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got okay. it. You got it. Are we wa- yeah, are we watching with sound? I think we are. Oh God, that's going to be so annoying, isn't it? Listen to this. Can you hear that? Yeah, I hear it. Okay. You know they changed the intro. Yeah, I saw that. They made it more that. like a like a, a remix version of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I you don't reckon know, it's I li- better? No, I like the original. Because oh, it's really? So, it's so epic. I really the original like this is one. so dramatic and oh, but you that's got why I like good... this one. That's why I like this one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say you're you're in this quite a bit in this intro. It's like Margo all the time, just slicing people up like it's pizza. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still one of the best intros to a TV show. Fucking love it, man. I yeah, it. absolutely. And there he is, Jordan Patrick Smith. Big old Jordan. Big old Jordan. I love this cabin that they had where fucking just casually just yeah. drops <laughs> yeah, down. Came down. Fuck, came down that was the, epic, man. The swing, that was it. so good. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Gustav Skarsko. Yes. One of the best characters and the best actors on this you show. You gotta see him. Sure. You go watch some YouTube videos of him just being himself <laughs> because it is absolutely... It's so different from the character. <laughs> it's so yeah, weird to see it him is. being himself. It is. He's super casual. He's super nice. He's he's just a. He's like a solid, handsome, not as crazy at all. Yeah, that motherfucker. So he's super down to earth. He's like a chill dude. He's a little. He's. I. I want to be as smart as he is. And mm. this guy is. Well, that just says a lot about his acting. He's. he's <laughs> I love that laugh. Mm. He's just, he's just legendary. He's like, I remember meeting him the first time and I was like, oh, really? Did you know what I thought? I was like, no. that's not oh, him. Right, that's not him. <laughs> that's a good lookalike. <laughs> that's a good nice lookalike. Stunt that's a stunt double. Pretending yeah. <laughs> mm. to the sickness of my body and my spirits. This whole new universe that they've created in as America. As it looks so cool. North America yes. looks pretty cool. Why did you leave it was in? amazing to see the difference when they edit. You'll see that later in this episode. But when they edit between the battle that we have in England, which uh-huh. is just gray, blue, and like so desaturated, there are no colors whatsoever. And then you get to this, which is just so green, colorful, it's golden. Oh yeah, it got that the, orange. The, the, the orange change exactly or, that that, yeah. that 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 grading change is pretty awesome. It, it was feels it like, was it shot feels like the same place show. though, right? It was I don't know the where they shot it. When I watched this sure. the first time, I was like, "Where?" But yeah, that's got to be an island. I'm pretty sure they shot an island too, yeah. in a different location from ours. But it's... yeah, everything, guys, everything that shot on this show is Ireland. I know they went to. Oh, they. I know they went to. Canada at some point and shot some of the Bjorn versus the bear scene and maybe got some some footage in Norway as well but everything else everything else is in, in Ireland so, so people are asking Dublin. yeah people are asking what minute we're at right we now are, it says 3 35 35 36 yeah 38 39 so we're um, almost 4 minutes in and is everything working good for the fans? Like every everybody watching it, is everything okay with the audio and everything? Yeah, just give give us a give us a thumbs up if you're happy. Thank you. Ivar, and please, so, and hearts, if you're hearts, if, Ivar is the king, we love Ivar. Okay, there we go. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. okay. They seem really happy. They seem really yeah. Really happy they seem a bit disorientated about the character, <laughs> but um, 
Yeah. Guess that's all right. Hey, singer from Sabari, yeah. Hey, my cousin hey, is watching. Hey. No way. Hey, everyone. Thanks for checking in. Okay, so yeah. The viewers we are dropping, are, man. What are we doing? We got to do we, something. Yeah, we, know, we just we just watch and enjoy this beautiful TV show. So the, we're approximately four minutes and 30 minutes, four minutes and 30 seconds in now. Yeah. Those locations in, in Ireland look fucking stunning, man. I, 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 They're beautiful. Where, is this in Ireland? It has to be. We shot on some beautiful locations, dude. Imagine that three and a half years, and we were our first day on set was on top of a damn mountain. Mm, I was shitting myself, man. Yeah, I was shitting bricks too. Do you, do you remember that one line I had, where I yeah. went, "This is what it means." This is what it means. And I couldn't say it. I could. I couldn't get it right. And you decided to be crouching for the entire scene. My legs were just shaking. So in the entire, it was such a rookie mistake. So for the entire day, it takes like five hours to shoot one scene, and Margo decided to be standing. Like this for the entire scene, so we had to spend five hours, and we were just like, "What are you doing, bro?" Dude, my leg was—they were uh, jelly when I got off. Oh, oh, you were dancing. You were, you were, you were shake it up, shake it really up. Sh oh, that's hilarious. That was, we were, we were a bunch of young guns. I love the tattoo Ube got this this season. The one of the, the two, yeah. yeah, the face tattoo. So cool. But he always Jordan was like, "You see, that's what I mean." They just now we're back in England. Oh yeah, the chain. But we are. It's smoky. There's no color. It's all blue and gray, and it looks crazy. That difference is very interesting. Oh, Marco, this is my scene. Let's be quiet. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. cool. Thanks, man. I was watching this whole thing go down while being seated on a horse for fucking four or five hours just sitting on that horse. Oh, there he is. There he is, the beautiful guy. There he is. Hey, hello there. Hey. Hi, nice to meet you. How's it going, lap? <laughs> Always spinning because it's so intense to do that. Mm. So it's probably because of all the smoke so you got in your lungs. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you for for giving me a, an an explanation for <laughs> just overacting in general. Play the game very well, Ivan. That was for it. Thirty year. He was solid, man. Yeah, all the dude. He was, he was solid, so dude. good at playing music too. Yeah, yeah, he's he's got a kind of a career going with that. He was in a movie called Sing Street, I believe. Yeah, I that was it, so was good. Like, That's such a solid movie. Yeah, and then a few a year later or so, he got cast. And I was like, hey, I seen you before. He's really cool. I love the little braids you got, the small ones. When did you get yeah. those? Well, I did it myself every morning. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's Dee Corcoran's work. Our dear hairstylist. She, oh, the amount of hours we've spent in those chairs. Mm. Them fixing us every single morning. Yeah. And after every single day at work. But we put some... I just remember getting all that cleaned up, all the blood, oh, and all yeah, the yeah, yeah. dirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You came here. And I remember forgetting to take it off. You know, when I got the, those lenses in, yeah. and I went to the uh, the closest supermarket to get a... Uh, the fresh? The fresh supermarket? Yeah, the fresh yeah. supermarket to get yeah. a drink or to get something. I think it was a Friday or something, and we went drinking, and I had to get a bottle, and they were like, no, we're not serving you. Absolutely not. I was like, what? Why? And I forgot, I forgot to take those eyes thing out. I did the same thing, because... The braids takes forever, yeah. and I have to, you know, I have to work the, the the day after. So I just kept the braids in, and D gave me a hair in it. So I was walking around like a middle aged woman with a hair in it on and braids, and still all muddy from a full day of work. And I was just, you know, getting my getting my groceries at the fresh market. People were looking stupid. Yeah. We looked so stupid down there. We looked stupid, yeah. Just as winter brings universal death. Oh, look at this monologue from 
from so Alfred now. So rises. <laughs> That's such a good reaction, man. It's like you weren't you weren't listening at all. At all, he's just oh, talking shit. That, or... Talking shit. We're just talk, yeah. But I like these moments, though. Mm. I mean, the battle stuff is hilarious yeah. to shoot. But those little things, the little yeah, stories between the characters and the development I there know. is in that. You know, we talked about that. When we did all the the, the, the fighting scenes and the battle scenes, there's no point in shooting battle scenes if there's no narrative going on, if there's oh, no re- connection between the characters. If that's the the one thing I I I think works in in this battle scene, it, you know, we got our thing going on all the time, it's, and, also, and Alfred is a part of that as well. I think I think they fighting. should have had some more, you know, character on character fights. Um, oh yeah! Pretty much definitely. nobody wants to go oh. see like us chopping up English people. Like it would I be so cool have having a few. Alfred. Yeah, something like that. You oh, know, that would That'd be so cool. Bro. I would have loved to. I yeah. missed a few of those. I think. Yeah. Guys, cast. Handsome fucker. Oh, <laughs> oh you're talking about Alfred? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers! What are you drinking? Gin and tonic? Uh, no, it's a uh, it's a dark and stormy. Oh, good stuff! Thank it's you. A cup of coffee. Mm. There he is. The there he is. Guy on a horse. Sitting I'm on, on a that horse. horse through the whole fucking scene. <laughs> He's watching. Was that tough to learn? To ride? To ride a horse? Because I never. I remember the most fatal too. mistake I did. Fatal, <laughs> fatal mistake. Fatal. I'm not even kidding. I brought a wrong pair of pants on my first day riding. Okay. And for the guys out there watching, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. When you have a couple of loose sweatpants on. Yeah. While riding and going up and down and not being, it's not so knowing nice. how to, you know, extend your legs, bend them. So I just, exactly. I just pretty much sat there with sweatpants on, on the horse like this. Yeah, and it's rubbing quite a bit too. It's, yeah, it's, so it's real, I real was walking pleasant. like an absolute idiot. Yeah, you, that was a pleasant surprise for you, mm. I reckon. First day. Yes. Yeah. Well, you, you didn't to... get to ride so much, did you? No, no, I was just on the chariot. Hiya, 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 hiya. That was it. And then they, oh, somebody just died. Oh, he just got stabbed in there. Mm. Look, look at him running. Like, ah, I'm going to stab you <laughs> if you don't move away. So we had no, I, I never, when we get the scripts, at this point in time, we'd shot 51 episodes. So, and I knew I was going to watch all the episodes. So for myself, I, I helped myself not reading any of their stuff. Mm. So it was all new. Also, I was a, a bit um, lazy. Uh, yeah, but, uh, but also the thing is, if you overthink it, so if you think about what's going on exactly. in the character story, you kind of act exactly. thinking about that, and that would exactly. be cool in their part. Exactly. You wouldn't it has know, an the character wouldn't them. know. So. Absolutely. Yeah, because my our characters wouldn't know anything about this either. So. Yeah, and it's the same, like, reading people talk, like, all the other actors talking secrets mm. about your yes. character exactly. you just skip that part you never know and you lagged out like exactly nothing, nothing's wrong instead of exactly so to update everybody we're at minute third oh fuck i paused it <laughs> 13 13 minutes and 20 seconds in yeah sounds good sounds good. yeah so be fine. somebody That's just awesome. died from the native um american tribe and Uba, aka Jordan Patrick Schmidt, is um, is being the badass that he is. You know, the leader, the true heir of Ragnar Lothbrok. Or is he really though? That's the question. That's the question. That seems to be the question everyone's talking about. Who's the true heir? Who's yeah, the true heir? Well, every every single one of the sons got different traits of him. So. Ivor got that reckless, uh, yeah. 
that very clever mindset about tactics and we all got the women issues we all got the women issues. oh yeah every, every single one Ex- every except single jordan one. maybe but every single one of us yeah but jordan issues. playing uber got that trait that he, he wants to wants explore. to go explore he exactly. wants to see the world see new things and victor kind of gets the uh the worst destructive parts of him i guess <laughs> yeah uh, yeah you had the whole the whole um addictive side of him Hmm. As well, but so, also, but also the overcoming of that, I have to say, because it yeah it takes a person to overcome that, and that's sure. what you did, your character. And I don't know if Fiber would have ever <clears> done that. If he would have went down that hole, he would have never crawled his ass up that hole. So no. So that's so there's that's a, also there's a question I, that says, how long did it take to shoot the final episode? What well, that was it was the longest battle scene. I'm all, yeah. as far as I'm concerned that took around nine days yeah it took around nine days for the battle scene but pretty much for the whole thing it took around two and a half months I guess yeah it took a little longer for those yeah. last ones because they were pretty massive um, but uh, so yeah, I reckon yeah. for the last two episodes was two and a half months usually longer. it's usually it's two episodes per month yeah no two month yeah a month yeah it sounds good something like that Maybe five weeks. Yeah, two episodes every five weeks. Mm. Every, yeah, I think it's something like that. Oh, it's been years, man. It's been, it's been so long. It's been two, two years since we shot More it. More than two years since we shot it, yeah. Look at us. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I love that they just said, okay, we're going to add fire to this battle scene. Yeah. Like, let's just get everybody in one big group and let's just add fire. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. Why? But why looks would they really shoot good. their own? It looks good, okay? It looks good. Stop asking questions. Why um, Athelstan? Why? Oh, that that must be that's, <laughs> that's your that's your that name. Must be that's, getting bad time. We'll we'll get back um, to that. We'll get back to that. We'll get back to that. Yeah, all right, sure. We'll get yeah, back we'll to get that back in to the that. end, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll get we have to talk about your whole I think I stole that from um, Lord of the Rings, where yeah. there's one of the orcs that's like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't even that's, remember that. It's a bullseye. No, I've, 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 my brain does some weird stuff sometimes. Matt, do you deny the charge of honor? Or do I need to? What is this some kind of trial? Yes. That was, that is so funny. What is this? Some kind of trial? <laughs> what is this? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly what it is. You yeah, just kill somebody. That's exactly what you know, we're trying to we're trying to integrate ourselves <laughs> in this community, and uh, you just kill one of their people. So yeah. I love the flow. He's just you know he's so wise. He's just being he's just with just everything. Adding, so he's just like oh my god, you poor kids. Yeah. You you, you for you, you do not know nothing. what you've done. Yeah. Norton. Okay. I don't know what fucking thing. I miss I miss I miss I miss the yeah, me too. Oh, I just yeah, miss, miss, miss the miss. crew and all the people there. It's for all the people listening right now. Shooting Vikings uh, was working with the best people in the world. That's the greatest crew in the entire world. Such a family. There was some. Um, They made it a real pleasant, um, pleasant experience. And they, you, I taught. They, I was taught so much from all these beautiful, very, very yeah. talented people. I mean, they they carried cranes up a mountain because we had to shoot one thing out there. They were literally in a line of people just handing over cranes. So stuff. dedicated. It's so hardworking, dedicated, uh, talented, wise, and giving, welcoming. Best people in the world. Okay, it tends to be great to be hate you for me. It's a new world. Some of the stuff that's on right now is very um, um, spiritual vibe that's going on right now in the show is uh, some of my favorite parts of the show. I love that the, it's the music. I love the, the, the way they shoot the, the details. Exactly. All the dripping. And, The yeah. cinematography, and they like put they, they put they put stuff in front of the the lens like this, so it all looks all weird and 
and Craig, look at that. that shot is awesome, bro. It's really beautiful. Jordan story. looks bad out of hell. Ah, he's. It's safe to say he's the prettiest guy of us. Yeah, oh, yeah. Definitely. And he got the beard, too, man. He got the beard, too. Yeah. I'm so jealous. So, yeah. I create. What's your favorite part about this whole, this last episode? I, I guess, I reckon you've seen it before, yeah? I have, yeah. Yeah? Okay. What's your favorite part of everything, of it all? Um, uh, maybe, uh, maybe the very last scene on the beach between yeah, right? and Jordan. Or maybe, and, and obviously our scene is awesome as well i think that was so yeah, much but fun i really too. like that peaceful ending too. yeah yeah i like that that was uh, also because it's just light it has that light feeling that i mm. that that's rare on vikings but it's just so beautiful when it gets there when there's a little humor oh there we go charge! i remember i remember filming that thing where i had to charge i fell three times in a row <laughs> and they just they it like it was just a shot of my feet, and I fell. I fell three times because it was like a bit of a hill bump yeah, going over. Yeah, it's all muddy. It's all muddy and holes. God, I felt so stupid. And Resetting two hundred extras. Get back! Get, <laughs> get back! Get back! Margo again. fell again. Margo slipped <laughs> again. It's so stupid. Yeah, and Nick over. Nick, our first AD is like, and probably, hopefully, he'll get it fucking this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Relax, guys. Uh, and this is the moment where you just show you're you're the you're probably the best fighter in the show. Okay. You're crazy, man. Thank you. You're fighting. You're it fighting. It took so awesome. long to work on that. I know. I oh. watched your video. Everyone, go watch. Not right now, but after this thing, go watch the the latest thing that Margo put up on his page. It kind of shows how you work. You should probably tell them because that's awesome. But that's what's happening right now. The whole thing of you fighting and the stunt sequence and all that. Actually, in this sequence, I um, that's what I talk about on my Instagram. I split the mm. stunt guy's lip right open from here to oh, here fuck. because I hit him with the sword. Um, I was supposed to go here, and I actually did it here, and that's why he got hit. And his slip was just split open, and I just stopped. I was on camera, and I just stopped like, fuck, what, what have I done? And he was on the ground going, keep going, keep going, keep going. With the lip <laughs> spread open. They're, they're so they're crazy. So the stunt ass. guys, they're, they're so they're, badass. They're, they give themselves 100%. 100% every single time. They save our butts mm. quite a bit. And, oh, there we go. The sound effects on this thing helps you out quite a bit, huh? Mm. Because on this one, I was just going to walk and then... And now break a bone. Okay, <laughs> like, how do you, how do you do that? And then you you watch it back now, and there's a foley guy in the studio that's like, <laughs> and, and yeah. it works perfectly. It works yeah, perfectly. Yeah. The way they do those sound effects is so funny. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> that one guy in the studio just tapping around. Yeah, insane. Like, it, in, instead of you know having like a. Uh, Having a glass of water and, and yeah, doing yeah. like a water, like a yeah. drip or a drop falling in the yeah. water. There's some genius sitting there going. <laughs> because now we just. <laughs> well, you should be a Foley artist. Then they just that put it in awesome. and go, yeah, that's, that's a drop. That's, that's a drop. good yeah. job on you right there. Thank you, thank you. Oh, well, what an actor. You're performing. Oh, huh. thank you. Okay, this took quite a bit to shoot, but it was. Um, wasn't there supposed so to be a Jesus, like a guy dressed as Jesus, walking past this this battlefield? Oh, this probably. Thing. Yeah, I remember something about that. I remember being on set, drinking coffee, and then looking to my right, and Jesus just Jesus walked was by. Walking by. <laughs> Casually. Jesus, Jesus. Oh. Yeah. So we're both trying to find our our God, and he's fighting off again. Boom. That's Lee. That's Lee. Yeah. Yeah, so they killed him off 25 times in the show. <laughs> and he so keeps many coming men. back. And, you know, you know, watching the show afterwards and watching all the scenes, I'm going, 
they put that guy in there so many times. So many like, times. So but many most times. people like, how did you get away with it? Why didn't anyone tell them? Oh, fuck. Oh. You just threw a guy in the opposite direction of, of which he was coming in with a spear. <laughs> you just yeah. moved him back. Probably couldn't do that feet. in real life. I said probably. Is, is it, it's possible, of course. I got you. Oh, you just... You just clothesline the dude. You were like... Doof. Mm. Smoke. More smoke. More smoke. Oh, the slow-mo. Oh, the slow-mo. It's the slow-mo. The slow-mo. It's solid. I'm going to turn this up because I want to listen to this music. We're oh, at... Do I sh- 20, 25 right now, I guess. Yeah, 20, 25. Now, you're Minute jumping 25. ship now. You're jumping ship. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the perfect, the perfect flashback sequence. That's you now. sitting there in your cave, like. <laughs> it's <laughs> sick. It's sick. <laughs> oh, I love those outfits. Uh, <laughs> This is such a nice moment. You're such a comforting brother. It's like, hey, you need to behave now. Well, it, it's, it's pretty impressive. I can be so comforting when you've been such a fucking asshole. Such a dick towards you. Yeah, I know. No, he's, uh, he's an indulgent uh, piece of... I've been a dumbass. I've always been a dumbass quite a few times too many on the show. I, I'm the first one to admit that. Yeah, there we go. That's me and you, man. Not today, Ivor. I remember that. Dude, you're so fucking good. It's amazing work, dude. Me too, man. I love that moment so much. Yeah. I like it. It wasn't even written in there. No, no, we made that ourselves. Mm. We wanted that. We wanted the brothers to be brothers for once. Yeah. Or at least have some brotherly love. I love that. I love that. Oh, and now he's he's recharge. He's charging up like yeah, <laughs> like a Super Saiyan. He's like, ah! <laughs> mm. basically, this is me trying to speak Icelandic. Yeah, how, how long does that does that, that take took you forever? To that took forever. Yeah, that took forever because it was so long. It was like a paragraph this long, and it was just you know a bunch of tones and yeah, sounds and also in a, having in a, to understand what you're exactly. saying and which like words of, I love this though like he's a part of that was a that was a good idea by Michael that whole thing of him being like an extended part of the army yeah like, the army being an extended part of him it's, it's kind of like, like those puppets where they all connect yeah, in a way. yeah exactly we, we did cool. that in the morning like that's a cool 6 shot 6 a.m. in you. the morning and that thing flipping around. Uh, that's this is some of the fun stuff to shoot. That's some of the real fun stuff to shoot. They use the slow mo so well, though. And now the fire! Oh, get the fire! Oh, what a shot. <laughs> you look awesome, dude. Mm-hmm. That's funny. Don't be afraid. This is so weird the way he stabs you. Stab, 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 stab. <laughs> <laughs> he just want to get out of there. Yeah. Oh, he's done the verse. And then just runs off. I 
I, I have to take say, take some I, credit, man. You just killed a yeah, huge warrior. Just, take yeah, some credit. I love the fact that it's just a random soldier that kills me. I love that. Yeah. Because it just makes it. Everyone was the big hero death in this show. And I, I know. love, I, I love to, to do the opposite. I talked to Michael about it. And yeah. we were like, yeah. Let's do I wish the, I would have killed you, man. Yeah, I know. I know. But it, we talked about that maybe being like a, you making, putting me out of my misery kind of a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I or maybe that. you just say, fuck it. <laughs> mm. Thanks for the last time. Uh, this is way more wholesome, though. This, this, I like, is that's what we talked about the, the connection between the characters. That's important. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> that's what you had the green legs on, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's all prosthetics. I was crying my eyes out in this scene, man. <laughs> Me too. I love that we're not talking. We're just sitting watching our own. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you made me cry on that one. Because I was like, I remember it very clearly. We, all of a sudden, we'd had a, a little break or something. And all of a sudden, Nick, our first AD, was like, so it's the death scene now. We're ready for you. And I was like, whoa, what? What? Yeah. It came I wasn't ready at all for that. I was like, okay, well, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and then they were pretty, you know, quick with that. Usually we'd get some time to ease into it. Mm. And on this one, you know, it was just straight into it, which is perfect. And I like that. But you were ready because you came in, pulled me up, placed me on your thigh. And I was just looking at you and you started... I, I felt your tears hitting my forehead. Yeah. And I was like, oh, fuck, <laughs> you can't do that shit to me. And then I just started yeah, tearing yeah. up. And from there on, there was no way back. There was no way back. the most impressed I've ever been in my entire fucking life. You lying there being dead and yeah. obviously not being dead. Oh, wow. You didn't give a single <laughs> fuck. You were there, open eyes, and my armor was just swinging, like, here at your face. You didn't move oh, yeah. a muscle oh, in your yeah, face. I yeah. yeah, you were like, I was so uh, and your impressed. tears were hitting My tears were dripping straight down your eyeballs. You didn't do yeah, a thing. You were just like, sitting there. But that's, but it's, there was a big camera on you, Marco. It's your death scene. At that point, you do whatever you, you need to do to, true, to not move a muscle. So that's it. That's it. That was that's it for the big was battle. Fun. That was that was a lot of that was a lot of. This episode is over so days. fast. We yeah, are already it's, it's thirty-two quite a bit. minutes and fifty-five oh, yeah. seconds into it. So I want to hear. I want to hear your thoughts on this whole thing. On this so whole what's thing? happening with Vitzer? Vitzer is like the last. The last one of the, you know, brothers alive that's still in the original land. Yeah, but I, I right. never knew it was going to get to that. I thought he was going to get killed, you know, over and over again because they, they I, told me. I remember so, they telling you that you were like, hey, probably we're, Margo, we're probably going to kill you off in the next episode or something. They, they told me that if, and, every 10th episode. <laughs> They said, Marco, we're going to kill you now. I was like, all right, fair enough. I've, I've had my share of this show. Fair enough. <laughs> They're like, ah, fuck it. We'll keep you just another, another 10. I was like, all right, sure. We'll kill, we'll kill you in the after next ten. Okay, cool. And then in the end, they're like, ah, we might as well Margo, just have you Margo, here until the end. It's about time. Yeah, it's about Margo. time. And you're like, okay, well, here it is. Here it is. That's hilarious. <laughs>
Damn, man. But you and and then you're the one surviving the entire thing. I know. That's so hardcore. That's so hardcore. Michael Hurst, if you're watching this, you can't fucking kill me. All right? No. Well, obviously, you don't have a lot of money well, left <laughs> right now because you paid him off a lot. Oh, yeah. That's true. Here. Keep me alive, okay? Keep me alive. Keep me alive. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? I'll give it to you. Keep me alive. <laughs> In, like in all secret, I've been walking around Michael Hurst's yeah. house in underwear, pouring Chardonnay, yeah. the like white old line. crop top. Oh, oh, that is exactly here you go, sir. Here you go. I'm oh. sorry. Here you go. That's Just keep me in the show, will you? That's why you weren't working on Tuesdays. Yeah, I was always Every at Michael's place Tuesday on you. Tuesdays. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Well. You got to do what you got to do. It's a, it's a business. It's a Look business. at that fur he's wearing. Jordan? Jordan? And the dear Georgia. Look at Tom McInerney, our dear Mega Barrios, just flexing yet again. Doing so an awesome good. job. He's so good. We got every single time he, he gets the chance, he's just pop, 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 and then you got a, a painting. Mm. on somebody he's 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 legit if you could choose any other character like she would like to be or you would have played in the show who would it be i don't know bro flogging maybe nah yeah flogging maybe because it's mm. just it's just so much fun you know, I just, I, it's, it's hard because you can't do it better than the actual actor exactly. doing it. Because I would never so, ever ever dare take on yeah. the role because yeah, I know Augusta right. made it. So, but I don't know, man. I'm pretty happy with Ivor. He was fun, but Gustav was a Ragnar as well. Love him. Mm -hmm. King Egbert was like Egbert, one. Love he's, Egbert. He was one of our. He was King, our favorite. King Harold too. I just love King Harold. Yeah. Okay. Oh, but Peter I would Francis never be able to get that voice. I don't know what I'd have to do. Like, welcome to everyone. Back. I am back. He's, he's so Peter incredible. Peter Franson is. When I grow up, I want to be Peter Franson. I want to be King Harold. So Probably like not King Harold, but Peter Franson. I, yeah, I Peter really, Franson more. He's, and he's the nicest, nicest, nicest dude in the entire world. I love those days. Hey. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> You know, it was that it's a cool moment that thing about the blood eagle that Uber is about to, to give him the whole yeah, and he puts honor, him out of his misery honor, instead, yeah. And then he's like, No, you, you're not gonna, you're gonna scream throughout this entire yeah. thing, you're gonna, you're gonna screw it up. So I'm it just makes his putting you out of your so misery. merciful and exactly. It's incredible. And also like a damn leader who knows mm. what's up. That shot is awesome. Oh, here we go. Quiet. Is that your grape? That is you. Yes. I sold my arm ring to a drug dealer. <laughs> I sold my arm ring to a drug dealer. <laughs> drug dealer. <laughs> Solid line. Good job, dude. We don't know this, but it saved my life so many times. One day when we meet again, I can thank you. After one way or the other, none of us really lift a simple or ordinary life. No. The ones who live an ordinary life. <laughs> nice. Good job, man. Enjoy your brother. still exists. Such a solid mind. You don't see the sky
That's my favorite line of that. Yeah, whole thing. That's so awesome, dude. You you did you did such a good job. Bro. I'm just gonna sit here for a while. You don't mind. It's I love it so much. Cause it's light and it's you. It's you. I can see Marco in that as well, which is it's me. It's me right there. That's you right there. It's, uh, good looking. God darn it. You shouldn't that dance around my back. <laughs> Oh, a little, little mushy, mushy. Yeah, I get, I'm, I'm almost close to getting those handlebars, like right here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, little that, friends, uh, the little French. Yeah. The little look at me. I'm a bartender on a Dude. Hip bar <sighs> mustache. Well, your acting makes up for it because such That's a good. solid job, to you. Solid fucking job. You come from England. That was nice. That was really, like really nice, Margo. Oh, army was defeated with great loss. King Harold was slain in the battle. And also I for the bolus. Ivor. Yeah. Yeah. And and Vitzer, he said Vitzer too, Ingrid. <laughs> said Vitzer what about Vitzer? No one asked. Him. Oh there he is. <laughs> oh there he is. Oh I love Oh this. yeah. I forgot about yeah. How the long beard. did that take? How long did that take? Uh, one hour beard. in the makeup chair. One hour? In the makeup chair. Mine was Fuck. He'd been oh, better. I thought, because I, thought I, asked, I thought you asked how long it took me to grow. <laughs> like one hour. Yeah, yeah, one hour. One hour in the makeup chair I got to be. No, yeah, one hour. It took me two hours. Yeah. Donnie, he, he got better. Yeah, um, but it was, it was like, it wasn't, I wasn't supposed to have a beard, but then they were like, well, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's try it Tom, out and see Tom, how it works. Yeah, well, it works. Then Tom just, he nailed it in, in he looks, like he looks no solid. time. It was really good, really. So that's one of the things that I think they did uh, a good job with in this episode is creating a full circle in, in, in terms of creating the death of the Vikings and the death of North mythology. Yeah. By it through your, your character, in a way. Yeah, but, and also rounding up every fake? character's, you know... Exactly, it's like... Arch. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Can I get a hallelujah? Did you say that one one time when you were shooting that? Can I get an amen? Can I get a hallelujah? <laughs> yeah, no. Hey. While I was wearing that whole robe, I went around preaching like a priest. <laughs> How do you think about that? I know they're probably asking that question as well. Yeah, a lot of the fans are asking that question. What did you think about your your ending? You were oh, faith and all that. Um. Well, at times I was a bit I was a bit confused because you know, Bitzer he kind of sees this uh, goddess. He actually had sex with a goddess, oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. goddess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why why would he just like? Yeah. yeah. But um. I don't know. Maybe he did it for some kind of salvation, not to die. Maybe he did, did it. You, because... Did you talk to Michael about it? No, I didn't get to talk to him about it. Oh yeah, I didn't get to talk to him about it. It was it was, it was pretty much just shoved it, in there. Yeah. yeah. Um. So okay. I don't know. I think it was cool. I think it was cool. Um. It creates that full circle thing. That that yeah. that transition. That exactly. That kind of s s symbolism. It's that shot is all. Oh. It took so long doing that. Yeah, because the they focus pulled in and they said, "Marco, open your eyes now." Ah, too, 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 too slow. You gotta open them faster. You have any too fast, too fast. Go back. That's Steve <laughs> saying that you're free right there. That's the yeah. guy right there. He want. He was like. He wanted everything to be just cinematography wise perfect. Yeah. And that's the last scene, bro. I love this. I think. What do you think? I'm not sure we have a choice. I'm not sure about anything. What do you want? Are you God, sir? Hmm. Have you seen it? Don't bother me with that. What business is that? He doesn't give a damn anymore. 
<laughs> That's so cool. That's what I mean. That's the the light tone. Clever old man, isn't it? You wise. Of course I do. Of course I do. Mm. It disturbs my nights. It's always happy. I'll get rid of it. <laughs> he keeps asking me to build him a new boat. <laughs> and I say, what the hell do you need a new boat, boat. for, Ragnar? We're dead. <laughs> that is such a grumpy wise old delivery, man. Delivery, delivery. Yeah. Christmas guys, go. Jesus. Mm. I don't care what you say. I love you, fucking. If you don't care what I say, then I won't say anything. In any case, I'll be dead soon. Is that the end? Oh, that's a good question. No, it is not the end. There will be a sequence on Netflix in the coming. <laughs> <laughs> This is not the end. Look at that shot. It looks so cool. And now, the next shot, look at those two yeah. Smurfs. Look at those two yeah. Smurfs sitting in the air, all cozy. <laughs> I love that. In their big blankets. That's so nice. That's so wholesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the nice. title music slowly coming in. Oh. Beautiful. Ah, and that Beautiful. was it. And that was it. Fade to black. Nice. That's... You want to do some Q and A? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Imagine, imagine being those two guys on set, knowing that they're shooting what is going to last be the last scene. scene. Yeah. I don't know if they. It was probably just felt like any other day. We've had a few days on the show. Yeah, probably. But still, there must have been for the entire people on set, everyone on set must have been like, I know they were like that when we shot our death scene. There was like a different intensity on set. People yeah, were like extra a, focused. And there was, I know, you know, when, when people level. were asked to be quiet, people were extra quiet. Yes. I remember one time that's, it's one of, I will never forget it. This is one of the most beautiful moments I've ever experienced mm -hmm. um, in, in terms of, of working. And it's when we're shooting our death scene and this is like take three and we're bawling our eyes out and you can't stop crying. I can't mm -hmm. stop crying. Yeah. And we're looking at each other and we're telling each other that we can't stop crying. Yeah. And I remember, you know, thank you. Cut. Perfect. One more time. And, you know, they're, they're setting up in between takes. And I get up and I just sit and I'm like, ooh, ooh. Because, <laughs> you're, oh. because I'm, I'm, you know, it's, it's hurting. And, yeah. and you, you just walk away because you're crying your eyes out. Yeah. You need the little tissue. And I'm just <laughs> sitting up there. And then I look out and I see 300 extras just sitting on their shields watching our scene. Completely quiet. So awesome. Like if it was, 
if like they were audience in a theater yeah. and uh and for the for people listening to this and who hasn't been on set on vikings there's always somebody working on set if we're shooting one scene over here they're shooting another here or they're preparing for that scene or you know there's always somebody working and mm-hmm. at that moment there was nothing there was nothing happening and i remember that being like well this you can feel that this was something extra and i i reckon that's how they felt as well doing that shooting that last scene mm. and that was such a beautiful moment to me i just love when i reckon it was nick thomas coming out of the tent when we had to sw- like when we had to switch different to a different angle or something like that and mm. he went mm. oh that was pretty good boys it was pretty good <laughs> Let's do it all again. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Was that Steven? Yeah, no, I don't know. If, no, I think it was Nick Thomas. Yeah. It was, oh, yeah, it was Nick. Yeah, it was mm. Nick. It was Nick. It was, it was pretty solid. That was, like, <laughs> that was solid, guys. Jesus, yeah, hell. Yeah, yeah. Come on, we'll do it again. We, we, but everyone was crying that day. We, yeah, I think I it had everything to do with that was everyone also knowing that it was the set, end. Right? It was my very last day on set. Yeah. yeah. So it was, it was very wholesome full circle kind of an ending. Mm. I really like that. I really like that. There, there was a question saying, um, yeah. what is your favorite scene that you did, the two of you? And I reckon oh. this pretty much sums up that. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's gonna I be like my that. favorite. Well, we did one too where I'm, I'm, I'm coming off. Well, we did write that ourselves, you know? The one where oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I'm still a little bit of a drug addict. And yeah, yeah, you're yeah, sitting yeah. there with a funny Russian hat on. <laughs> Yeah. We're sitting there, yeah, and it's just a few words. It's, it's that's just... in season. Yeah, yeah, that's in. We sh- we wrote that ourselves. That's yeah, I think that's in season right. six. That's in season right? six, eh? Yeah, and you yeah. just arrived, and we find you in the woods. Yeah, and I'm right. like, and I'm like, you look like shit, and you're like, and I'm going, what are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> and you're just too, like too shit. Yeah, what you're wearing, and I'm like, okay, fair enough. You got that one. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> I, I reckon it's that scene or the other one. I love that one too. The small little moments of just yeah. brotherly love. Brotherly love. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was really cool. Mm. How many times did you shoot Iris' death? Well, that was how many takes? Four takes? I think four takes. Yeah, each, it or something like yeah, that. It wasn't that was too it. Bad. No, yeah. that was it. Usually, we don't get more than that. Usually it's nah. like two or three takes on a close up, and that's it. Then you're done. Yeah, and if you fuck it up, you pretty much just they'll, you just they'll just cut away from you. There's they'll nothing just use to do. Another guy's shot because we're so. on a tight we're on a tight um, tight schedule mm. shooting this stuff, and and it's we gotta go get through a lot of pages throughout a day. I know, and a lot of different angles and stuff like that. So we it was it's it's tough. You need to to know your stuff because you only get two or three takes, and that's it. Uh, you got a good question. I'm looking for tools. I don't know now. I'm trying to find an English one. Oh, really what is what your favorite I'm... season? Probably season six, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. I like, I like, I like, oh. <laughs> I like, I like five A. Mm. I like when we go, we, when we go to York and we split up and all that stuff. The, yeah, the that brothers cool coming into them, so I like or, that one too. Maybe my favorite, my favorite seasons are probably from. One to four, four ten. One to four. Yeah. What? First season to the fourth. Oh, yeah, the ones where we're not in it. Yeah, yeah that was pretty yeah, good. Yeah, I like those too. <laughs> Too fucking dumbass. Uh, that's hilarious. Uh, favorite character on the show? Well, we kind of did that. Yeah, we uh, talked about King Harold. Uh, King Harold. King Egbert or Ragnar or Vogue or Vitter or that, that's, yeah. that's my answer. That's my answer. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm pretty much with with Ragnar, Egbert, and Harold. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, just because we love those people as well. Mm. Uh, what's uh... oh my god? Did you hear a lot about of your? Oh, Did yeah, you hear go. about your German voices? So I reckon we're getting dubbed. In oh, yeah, Germany, we're getting right? dubbed. Have you heard some of that stuff? No, That's I haven't heard it. Is it good? No, well, I, 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 I saw some some of the fan pages posted uh, somebody in Spanish, I think, mm-hmm. doing mine. And 
I had, you know, I didn't understand a word, but it seemed like he was better than I, than, than, than me. Oh, so, that uh, sucks. Yeah, it sucks so much. <laughs> you were like, oh, it sounds great in Spanish. He's doing yeah. a solid job. Why didn't we shoot this thing in Spanish? Well, but oh, I wish in cast, Spanish is a bit longer. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. What do you say? Hi, Michael. Oh, Jordan. Jordan saying, oh, hi. Oh, oh, hey, Jordan Patrick Smith. Oh, hi, you Australian Balkan. How are you doing, brother? Oh, I miss you, Jordan. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. Or is there another question here? This is hard, guys. This is hard to... Did you keep anything from set? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, yeah that's a good question. Um, I kept the arm ring. Yeah, I got uh... the arm rings too, yeah. Yeah, did you got it there? No, not here. Uh, I'm at my parents' place. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I got, I got something. Wait a second. Yeah, no worries. I'm just gonna take it over from here. Um, what do you get? I got the shield. <laughs> oh yeah, I got the shield. All of us got a shield on our last day. You got one too. That, yeah, I got one too. And we got everyone riding messages inside of it yeah that's and, right you know people didn't like me that much so i i, I, I there you know there's a lot <laughs> there's, there's, there's a lot of spots here. um empty and i hold that's because they you know they didn't have time but, uh, <laughs> but that was that was cool and then i i got this one too actually which is jordan, awesome jordan asked me if i read any of those books or if they, they're just there. <laughs> That's a solid no. Well, I haven't read this one. That's an Italian cooking book. And that um, one, that's a pixie book. I've read this one and this one. And this that's one up here. Oh, you gave book. me this. Can you see this? <laughs> no, yeah, I can't see it. No, I don't think you can see it. What is that? What, what book is that? Sabians. Oh, yeah. Homo sapiens sapiens? Mm -hmm. Just, yeah, okay. Nice. Nice. Uh, I've been wondering if Vitzer genuinely converted when he's sitting speaking to Arvid's grave. He talks about seeing him in Valhalla. How did you prepare mentally and emotionally? How did you prepare mentally and emotionally to say goodbye to your favorite character on the show, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was, uh, it was pretty much one of my first days when I had to say goodbye to Sigurd when he died. Um, so I didn't prepare much for that. No, just joking. <laughs> I'm not, um, I'm not, yeah. Yeah, thanks for the save, man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not I reckon... Uh, oh, uh, you're out cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon yeah. uh, my... I wasn't, I wasn't very prepared for the, for the goodbye scene to Ivor. Um, but I was pretty prepared for uh, the scene we did. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember thinking about what I could, what could make me cry. So mm -hmm. I, I sat down and was like, okay, what, what, what can I think of that's going to make me tear up and cry my eyeballs out? What did you think? And Come with it. I thought about all these sad things that I've, that I've experienced in life and, and stuff like that, but that, that can make me cry. That can make me cry. So I was pretty Not much, when you force it. Not when you no, force it so I was, I was just like, I was I was just gonna end up going there and just pretend like I was crying, and then hopefully something would happen. But then I saw we did the scene at first, and it was mm. your shot at first, and I saw you mm. crying, and then I just started, "Fuck, this is sad," and I just started going. So not a lot I, of preparation I, for that one. You that must have been pretending because I remember you making me cry. So look, at us, look at us! Look at us! Look at us! The two of us. Boys just sitting here talking about crying on set. <laughs> no, I remember that was the, that was a special moment because it's you you know for people who just know uh, a lot about acting, sometimes you know you have to tear up or something like that or give a scene an emotional depth, and um, it's hard to do that five times in a row. Uh, so you know you you may you do things to to get there, um, and sometimes you're not emotionally there. But um, but you still make it work. But in this scene, 
it was genuine. It was genuine. Mm. I don't know. You just, you, well, it's hard. We were saying goodbye to the whole thing. It was our last day. Everything was super intense. And, you know, you've been looking forward and fearing this moment for a long time. And then you show up, you pull me up and you cry on my forehead. And I'm like, that's my brother crying. So that's pretty yeah. tough. So that was, it was just emotional and a lot of fun. And I just love yeah. seeing you cry. You, you hardcore Viking, <laughs> you tough guy. It was yeah. so nice to see you ooh, ooh, turning into a little soft teddy bear. I love that. Um, I love that. What was the scene you prepared the most for? Oh, it must have been some of the, the Icelandic stuff. Mm. But also, do you remember that scene in season six? where I had the big speech about we needed to go to England and finish what we started. And I couldn't get through that. Yes, damn scene. I remember. You and I was to walk sweating. And, say it and put the, uh, put the, uh, the chest piece down in the end, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, that, that big one where Harold starts his massive speech and then I finish Dude. it off with. Anyway, I couldn't get through that scene because no. we, they, it was a weather cover thing. So I, I hadn't had any time to prepare for it. That that day, I was I was I was struggling, man. I was really yeah. Really I struggling. remember. I remember and you. I remember you coming up to me and you were like, "I know this is tough, but you got it. You got it. You were really supportive." But yeah. imagine, yeah, it was, that was a horrible day, standing there I know, on set I know, with a hundred people looking at you, and you have to do this do, 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 and getting everyone going and finish it on top and. You have to do a lot of difficult lines in my second yeah, language and, uh, in a on, row. On top of that, there's a, uh, no... there's a dialogue coach sitting beside you going, yeah. you know, remember that V? Make it an F instead of a v. Make, make it an F. And you're like, so oh, it's not Ivor, it's Ifa? <laughs> Shut yeah. up. It's Shut hard, up. Man. I can't even get through the lines. No, so we, some, sometimes, though, those, those days are really challenging. But that was because yeah. I didn't get any time to prepare. Because I, I was told the day before, oh, yeah, you know that big monologue you have? Yeah, that's for tomorrow because the weather's going to be shit tomorrow. So we're shooting on the in inside in the studio. Yeah. And sometimes that's you need to be flexible. And, and, yeah, and, I hate um, those weather cover days, man, because I remember yeah. booking a trip or flight to Turkey. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah you did that. And all of a sudden they said, oh, no, you can't. You can't go. I was like, oh, no. I'm, I, like, I was on my way to the airport. But my you, were, you, were, you, just... you were in your swimming shorts already. Swimming shorts, like flippers. Hawaiian t-shirt, flippers, <laughs> little a little hat. Tropicana drink in your right hand. Oh, damn. Yeah, no, those are... It's not always easy to, to figure this schedule out. Uh, no. Um, one more question... Hey Turkey, hey Franz. <laughs> I see a lot of that. Hey Argentina, uh, hey, hey Brazil. Argentina, hey Brazil, hey Russia, Nostrovia, uh, and uh, uh, is it hard doing the love scenes? Oh, is it hard doing the love scenes? You know the sex scenes. Is that hard? Um, You've done quite no. a few more than I have. No, it, it's it's not. The thing is, um, when you're when you're on set, when you're doing those kind of sexy scenes on set, yeah. um, it is so non-sexy. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. It is. It is. There is a hundred or two hundred people staring at you. There's people behind the camera. Exactly. There is makeup. Um, just doing makeup on your skin and all over your face. Yeah. And like, so it's kind of yeah. like fiddling you're with your butt crack. There, almost naked with a little pouch holding your. Yeah. Holding yeah. your. <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Um. So you got this little sack hanging from beneath you, and you're getting makeup all over, and it's it's just it's just, it's just so um mechanical. I know it's so mechanical. You, you become, then you're such action, a cyborg. You go, oh. Action, and then everything is prepared, and 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 it's not. It's actually not the the. It's not really the nicest scenes to shoot. It's gets a little uh, uncomfortable at times, actually. And for both people, and that's also the reason why it's so important to make it as comfortable as possible for everyone. 
So, you know, being um, very focused on each other and, hey, are you okay with this? And I'm going to do this and because they told me to for the camera and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> because it's like, it's That's not an important line to say, they told me to do this. They told not me to, I'm decision. not, I'm sorry, to... <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm trying not to. Because that's really important because it's, you know, it's, People are, you were, and you, you've been naked on this show. Like that's, oh, that's yeah. it's not easy, I, that stuff. Right? I remember doing a scene the entire where, world is going to watch it. Um, I was on my way to King Olaf, yeah. Olaf, and I had a scene where I had though. to stand and then go butt naked oh, in front of the whole butt. set. And what and a butt. Like <laughs> there's so many extras watching me stripping naked. And like <laughs> there were kids as well, just standing there going, <laughs> This is weird. Like so, it was. That was pretty tough the first two times, but then in the end, you're just like, "Fuck it, they've seen it all over." I get on the third take. Hey, little Timmy. Hey, what's good? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. No, it's 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 not that fun. You know, it looks like we're enjoying the sex and everything is awesome, and but in in reality, you're like, "Don't screw this up." Uh, yeah. uh don't don't uh, remember the cameras here remember the light remember that uh you're on this side and remember the 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 thing you did in the last take where you had your hand here so you have to place your hand here as well so if you're thinking about all that stuff it's not sexy sexy at all and also it's, like ex like not getting into the moment and accepting the other person's boundaries exactly it's just such a weird setup the whole no, thing yeah it's not it's, um, it's not the coolest thing in the world I mean, I would love to, I'd love to have a sex scene with the, okay, next question. Because of that, that butt. Margo, tell Alex we want to hear his speech again. Are we afraid to, de to death? Are we afraid of that? Yeah, can you do that speech? No, I can't do that. No, can you do a little bit of it? Can you just, like... can you do, I can do, um, what's the line? Yeah. Uh, uh. Oh, oh, something like that. I can't, Ooh. I can't scream like that because I was going full heavy metal mode when we were in the mm. studio doing the, the lines because there's there was a lot of you know rain going on yeah, and all that, so they know, have to some, put on these lines afterwards. Some lines just get stuck in your yeah, head. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some of them, some of them get stuck because, and those are the ones that you prepare for the most. Those are the ones that I can still remember. So yeah. that's almost zero lines I can remember. Well, I, I can I can remember one. Yeah. It said, um, all of these men collaborated willingly with the Irish regime. And they did his bidding, whatever that was, however cruel, however depraved. That, th I remember that so clearly. That was but so the good, rest Marco. of it, gone. How do you, how do, you do it, Marco? I remember some Icelandic... Uh, uh, so now I can feel like I need to perform now. I, I, I just oh, yeah, told on. you I can remember it now. I'm you know what? Blank. I'll do the butt naked scene. Give me a second. Okay, yeah, yeah. Perfect. I'll, I'll think in your time. Hey, to get back, yes. Get the hook from Hestem in. And off the middle of the cap, you have to go to the foot and go to the bias. Which means stop fighting, stop fighting. He's too great of a fighter to fight on foot. Give Dude, him my horse. Shit started floating when you say that. My apartment. I didn't understand a single word you just said. But and you know what? It's supposed to be Icelandic, but I can tell you, there's a lot of Icelandic people out there who wouldn't understand that either. Oh no! Yeah. Hmm. Hey, Alex, do you feel uh, I've waited to fight in a battle in Chantai until he felt Vitek would be okay without him? <laughs> yes, one hundred percent sure. I ever knew that Vitek would be okay without him because of Vitek. Is one mean motherfucker. I is there any more? You know, we're going fifteen minutes over time now, but it's all good. I mean, it's I enjoy. Yeah, it. fuck it. I'm having <laughs> I'm having a good time right now. <laughs> you have a beer? I don't want yeah. a beer. I don't no, actually, yeah, I got a beer. Okay. No, I'll, I'll get a beer. I'll get a beer. I'll get a beer. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> mom, mom, can you get me a beer? <laughs> Ma! Ma! The meat <laughs> uh, As you can probably, um, as you probably experience, um, 
So right now, and what you probably can understand is that Margaret and I had a lot of fun doing shooting this thing uh, on set because he's, he's a fun guy, and we're always ready for a good crack. What age was Ivan when he died? I think he would have been around twenty four. 23, 24, 25, something like that. Maybe less. We're not quite sure about the ages of our characters. But, um, yeah. When did we start? Oh, no, you did not. Thanks, Pop. <laughs> oh, what a legend. What, what a legend. legend, Dad. My dad's a legend. It's his birthday, by the way, today. So we're, I'm, I'm, Happy I'm celebrating his birthday. Happy birthday, Pop. Oh, my God, he came with a green bird. Nice. That's such a good beer. Cheers, cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. And thank you for tuning in. Dude, let's just go like this. Let's go. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. For the whole night. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dude, let's take the account. Steal it. Change the password. Oh, everything. I can. I can because I got their account. Go change I, the it. Amount of, the amount of times today. I'll... Dude, dude, fast. They won't notice. But... <laughs> <laughs> change change the the cover photo to uh, a photo of the two of us just yeah <laughs> <laughs> or your or your beautiful butt from the scene uh with prince oleg oh yeah i could Make do that, that too there, i got that, know, that little icon instead of yeah. the hbo yeah. thing exactly just a butt cheek. exactly just a, a butt cheek yeah. and then hbo <laughs> <laughs> on top of it you know what i should have hbo tattooed on my butt cheek yeah you should do you reckon they would post that? Yeah, they would post it, but I, you should probably get paid for that too as well. It's uh, advertising. Well, if, if you should, tattoo, it, it should good. say it should say pay partnership. In the skull. skull, 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 everyone. We forgot skull to say skull. Everyone. skull, everyone. Skull, everyone. <laughs> oh. Do you speak like that with that accent once in a while? With the Viking axe? When you're doing self tapes and they ask Dude, you, Dude, yeah, and yeah, and they, and they I caught myself to, doing it. And they ask you to do a, like a, uh, a Scandinavian accent. So I'm uh, instantly, I'm just like, so I really want to. Yeah. <laughs> I like yeah, it's, it's hard. So, it's hard. I mean, it's indoctrinated into my DNA to speak mm. like that. It's horrible. It's horrible. Like, okay, Marco, this, uh, this character is going to be uh, Irish. Yeah, yeah, I know how to speak Irish. I know Is how it, to huh? speak. <laughs> you do the Look little thing with the head. You do the little mm. Ratner mannerisms. Mm. Yeah, I know. Or that little lip, like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How do you do that? That's really cool. That's really cool. Uh, is there that is the most question? sarcastic thing ever. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. That's really cool. Oh, yeah, that's really cool. Hey, Marco, are your eyes blue or green? My eyes. I don't know. I know they're they're blue, no they're brown, no they're green. They're green. We got green eyes. I think they're wow. green. I yeah, went I all the way around. They are green. They're, they're green, 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 they're brownish. Green. Yeah, they're a little brown. Mm. And... Oh, there's somebody asking me when, Alex. When are you coming to Toronto to throw axes again? Because that's a thing. Oh, I yeah, went to Toronto. That. I went to Toronto doing some promo yeah. stuff on Vikings in Toronto, and they have a thing, just like a company uh, party get together thing, where they uh, show up, throw axes, and drink beer. It's that is probably the greatest the, thing uh, I've ever heard. Best of. and worst cocktail I've ever heard of. in the world. In the world, I was like. Oh. It's, it's, it does not, how is that allowed? That's, well, I don't know. And they, and they say America is the land of the free? Nah, 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 nah. Canada. Well, there's a, there's a Canada. question here, Alex, um, from yeah. Marco Ilso. Why hasn't Marco never been invited to one of those events? Well, I don't know. I don't um, know. I, uh, well, uh, thank you, Marco, for uh, a lovely question. Uh, my answer will be, uh, well, his character wasn't big enough. And uh -huh. um, that's the main reason why. <sighs> so, another questions? question. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. I miss you. Hello from Ukraine and happy birthday. 
I don't know. Do you guys bird. like Travis Pimmel? Yes, we love him. Yes, such a we nice like guy. Travis. Very nice guy. Crazy. Lovely. Marco, how long did it take to train your last battle, which was amazing, by the way? Yeah, how, how many hours did you um, put into that one? Well, I have no clue. I remember training for every day for two weeks, I reckon. Um, yeah, but the thing was, so here's how we do it. The first three days, we'll have to do the first sequence. So me fighting up four guys, we'll do that in the first three days to get everything right. Um, because if you make a mistake, you're pretty much, you're going to split a guy's lip open. Um, <laughs> and that happens so, anyway. so yeah. you do that for the first three days. Then the next yeah. three days, you do the next couple of six or seven guys coming in. And then you put that thing together. And then until you're up to 20, 20 dudes you kill. Uh, and you have to do the whole sequence in one big take. Uh, so even though in the episode it's it's kind of split up into different mm. sequences, um, it's yeah, one long that. take that you that you do to save time. It's like a, chore so, a choreography. It's like a dance yes, routine. it's like a dance. Yeah, it's like a dance it routine. Which is, I am, <laughs> if I have to say, it myself, pretty impressive. Because pretty pretty good dancer. Um, you because you're you know you're you weren't the best dancer in the beginning, I'm but through fighting. You ended up becoming the best one of us. Yeah, and I the best, you for the that. best dancer with a sword. Without one, with a, you, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm absolutely terrible. I'll sh I'll show everyone uh, for just a second. Uh, this is Marco on a on a random bar in Ireland. <laughs> That's, That's your one. The, your, your one and only dance move. <laughs> It's either that or it's just in the bar like this with the arm yeah. up and then just the, the foot just going like this. <laughs> Pretty good at that. I get it. <laughs> hey, can I got three beers? <laughs> oh, that's yeah. hilarious because that's so much. That's so true. I know. Yeah. We had some good times. Tonight. Yeah, we had some good times. It's a dangerous country. Country. To uh, to is. to be stuck in because Ireland is a very welcoming, friendly country with the, um, the nicest people in the world, but they also uh, make phenomenal beer. So um, and you know, yeah, we like beer. So we do. Yeah. So we it's yeah cocktail, good cocktail. Yeah, it's um. pick me in. Good times. Alex, tell us about your next project. Zero projects coming oh. up. Your favorite place to go to in Dublin? Um, where was that? Seacoast. Seacoast. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we can't draw names like that. Oh my, god. oh my god, no. Margo, somebody, uh, Luis. Louise Waters, 89, uh, asks uh, Marco, you, can I have a private dance, please? Uh, a private dance? Well, I can give you some dance lessons. I can't give you a private dance because that would oh, – well, in Corona times, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I'm pretty much out of money. So yeah, 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 yeah. maybe I could do like a live stream with me yeah, yeah. doing a dance and then getting some, some yeah. tips or whatever. Yeah. You take this I don't know. Maybe I'll start seriously. an OnlyFans. I don't know. Yeah. You can't see anyone. You take this lockdown very seriously, as no. you should. But um, yeah, no, no, no private dance um, lessons. That's, that's Favorite sad, football club. What's your favorite football club? Mine? Yeah. I know, where, I know who you're rooting for. So I got to say Bunbury because that's, oh, yeah, that's uh, a good choice. That's yeah. a good choice. That's I love a good that choice. club too, man. Yeah. I can tell you that I know that we lost a lot of money on Bunbury when we were betting on them in Ireland, living together. We lived together I, I, for like I four months. I can't remember that. I, can't re I only remember the wins. Re oh, you so, only re yeah. remember the wins. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Forget about the losses. Yeah. Yeah, mm. I get that. I don't watch a lot of football, I have to say, but... Uh, a newly uh, football team, a Danish football team that uh, that I've come to to like is uh, VB Weilerbachlu. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And don't ask me why. I don't no, because why. there's no why. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely true. Uh, talk about Ragnar. Yeah, talk about Ragnar. Uh, I can talk about Travis. I got this wonderful story about Travis that I love so much. I like to hear that. So we had like a uh, like a dinner party with uh, with Travis um, and all the other you know production and uh, film crew um, director mostly, mm. um, and then. Um, he didn't know he was going to go out and he was just, he's so chill. I would, re I thought he was going to rock up in like a full suit and be this nah. uh, badass thing. No, try nah. check, track suit, opposite try track suit. Yeah. yeah. Opposite. He he's the chillest dude. A hoodie world. and just chilling with a half, half a cup of coffee from, mm. uh, uh, from the Seven Eleven next door. And he went outside to have a cigarette and he sat down outside having a cigarette. Uh, just sat down on the on the uh, on a little stair thing, mm. and then somebody came by and put a coin in his coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Here you go," and <laughs> just walked past. And he was like, "Thank you." Here you go. Have a have a nice evening. <laughs> have a nice evening. Take care of yourself. Oh, I love him, man. They thought he was such a, a nice dude. They thought he was a homeless dude. They, it, some some. But he looked racked. He Some looked woman thought with he the was... beard and the and the tracksuit. Yeah, exactly. Uh, destroyed tracksuit. A day of filming with all the dirt and yeah. No, oh, he's Some he's lady. probably the chillest dude I've ever met. The chillest yeah. dude. Uh, he um, he's he's Australian to the heart. Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, Alex, you are looking better with braids. Thank you. Lovely, outstanding. I appreciate that. Hello from Norge. Norge, uh, my better in Denmark. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. Wow, uh, that is <laughs> <laughs> uh, What scene was the coldest? Ooh, you can tell a story about that. What scene was the coldest one? Because we've had a um, lot of scenes that were cold. But I remember one with you being drugged and in the rain machines. Yeah, that was that was not the coldest scene, but definitely the coldest day because I was shooting the whole day under this um, rain machine. And there's a scene with me and Alex where I'm sitting drugged up, com completely confused. Oh, you're and hallucinating. Yeah, that's the Yeah, same. I'm hallucinating. You're behind yeah. me, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Um, talking to me, and I'm just sitting there going... Mm -hmm. that's good. Um, and then they had to pour water on my, on, on my face and my head, and I was sitting there in the mud. You were in the been there rain. for hours and hours. And for some reason, I thought when I was getting dressed... Um, for that day, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna skip the uh, the warm underwear uh, because if if I'm actually fucking freezing, mm. it is gonna look incredible on screen. And I was freezing because I got this this liquid thing in my ear getting drained after after two weeks. It was some kind of frostbite thing in my ears. Uh, what? Yeah, so that was you got hypothermia as well. You almost got yeah. hypothermia. I remember yeah. you telling me that the doctor came into you. Yeah, he was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." You know, the the guys, the 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 crew was like, "Okay, we're ready. Back to ones, Margo, yeah. are you ready?" And the doctor is like taking your temperature, and you're like two degrees yeah, <laughs> below no, what you're no, supposed the, to be. The doctor took my temperature, and he was like, "You know what? It is, it is uh, in the mouth." Mm. Uh, he took the temperature here. I guess mm. not. Yeah. Um, the no, no. <laughs> and he said, "You know what, dude? Your your body temperature is too cold to actually work. Yeah. It's it's pretty much not not legal to yeah. work right now." Yeah. And I said, "You sh shut the fuck up." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I'm gonna do this yeah. now because yeah. I know yeah. I'm not you gonna wanna come get, back go tomorrow. back to it. No, no, no. I'm not doing this tomorrow. No, no, exactly. So somebody, can you say can you say your lines? And you're like, yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> that's 
that's still the funniest thing. Uh, yeah, no, we've right. had some cold days. Yeah, I remember that was Nick us. Thomas. Yeah, Nick that Thomas was asked me. Yeah. So Marco, you seem pretty. Are you okay? Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like, can you say your lines? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. All right, rolling. <laughs> I remember when we blood eagle King Ayla in the woods God, during, in the night. Freezing cold. Too. It had been it had been raining and snowing for the entire day, and we shot that in like January, February in Ireland mm. during the winter months. Oh my God! And I remember when we were looking down the hole, the pit where Ragnar mm. died. I remember uh, Jordan. Um, putting me down on the ground and every single time I hit the ground the ground just stole every warmth in my body yeah yeah I just froze like that and I was remember hmm. and I had to do Icelandic as well so I was like yeah so you're unable to do your work but King Al had his shirt cut open so he was he was like a beast he was freezing yeah Ivan Ivan K, I think his name was. Such a mm. cool dude. He just showed up shirtless. It got throw, thrown over a, a big lump of wood. And then uh, uh, Alexander plays Buren, just started smacking his back for an hour. And he just sh- screamed throughout the entire thing. Cut. Mm. And he was like, okay, perfect. Thank you for the night. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And we were like... I, I, how did you, boss. how did you, such a boss. He just took it like a champ. Huge legend, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's really awesome. Oh, I've been freezing. I was, I, sometimes I, uh, I've called my mom a few times. <laughs> I'm freezing. <laughs> mama? Mama, 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 mama. Yeah. So, so we're going to do one last question. And then yeah, let's do a few questions and, because I'm, there's almost face. Oh, you're so not there perfect. Oh, oh, you're you're already there. Yeah. No. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, a few last questions, and then we're gonna say thank you very much for everyone. There's one here. Uh, on a scale, uh, what's the funniest story? Okay, what's the funniest? story from behind the scenes oh what would that be Margo the funniest stories from behind the, the scenes. funniest story from behind the scenes I mean we've 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 left quite a bit is there a certain story that was fun I mean every single day at work with the crew was just we've had so much spander with the the, the camera guys oh my god yeah it can no, like, and Shane and oh, those guys were it was just fun every single day at work because they yeah the days where everybody's getting getting like all the apples and fruit and after, oh, yeah. after the scenes is yeah, done yeah, yeah, and yeah. all the food is, like all the uh, leftover fruit is there. we pranked each other you can't, walk, quite you can't walk anywhere without an apple hitting you straight in the no back no exactly head. no we had a lot of food fights and we had a lot of the two of us had a, a, a water fight going on. A water fight. Oh, yeah, we had that for a while. Yeah. That was hilarious. Yeah, I couldn't even take a nap anywhere. <laughs> but that's the thing. Oh, you, you, you woken me up a few times. Yeah. With water. I remember one time, I think it's on video, actually. Jordan is spitting water inside oh, of my ear. Yeah, and I'm just, I'm just, you recorded it, you dumbass. And I'm just yeah. sitting there minding my own business, sleeping, because I've been up at 5 a.m. every single day. I'm sitting there like that, and Jordan's just spitting water into my ear, and I, I'm not even reacting because I'm used to it by then. No, so it, I'm, I'm just, just doing, I'm just doing this. Yeah, you just going, <laughs> why the fuck? Do do just I don't even give a we don't I don't even give a shit anymore. Uh, uh, that's, but it was, it's been a lot of fun on on set. Food fights, we have a lot of those because there's a lot of stuff to throw on set. There's a cabbage head here. There's a tomato here. Mm. Oh, the costume guys hated us because we just did oh, whatever yeah. we wanted to totally. do. Yeah. <laughs> We're not the nicest guys in the world. How does someone audition for a show like Vikings? Well, we drove to Stockholm from Copenhagen-ish. We drove six and a half hours to Stockholm to do 20 minutes of an audition. 
So that's in doing wow. one or two scenes and then you're out again. And then we drove six and a half hours back and just hope for the best. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So you need to put in the work, so to speak, or the effort. And uh, but none of us were like, you know, there were thousands of people auditioning. So we were like, yeah, that's that's never gonna happen. But we had just did, uh, we just did a short film together, and got the audition simultaneously. So we were like, yeah, let's let's do it to the, together. Let's go together. But um, apparently, we did well enough. I remember you were sick. I was you sick were as so hell. Sick. You couldn't speak. You had yeah. a, like a throat buck or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. It must but have helped me in the audition. Like, they must have thought, this guy is fucking great. Oh he looks like he's hurting all the yeah, time. Yeah, all the time. Like, what, <laughs> what is up with his voice? I've never heard anything like it. That it's so authentic. Voice. So authentic. It's almost mm. like he's like the son of Peter Franson. That's really good. That's really good. Yeah, nice. Like oh, him. somebody is men mentioning the Assassin's Creed Valhalla game. We played Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I was supposed to audition for one of the guys, one of the voice actors in that, you were? In that game. Yeah, nice. but it had it didn't have the um um the title of Assassin's Creed. So uh, I was supposed okay. to audition for it, but it was called something else at the time and I was so busy, so I was just like, uh I I I, I don't have the time to do that right now. And then it turned out to be Assassin's Creed and I was in yeah. my bed just that's, fucking banging. That's my some head. of that's some of that's some of the stuff I wanna do the most. It's like that motion yeah, capture. Yeah, I really thing. want to do some voice things. Yeah, man. the voice things, the motion capture. Like mm. the stuff that Andy Serkis has done with Gollum and Planet of the Apes and all that. I love that stuff. I don't know why you... I love putting on a green suit and it got Dutch all over and then oh, like yeah. or something. But I love the physicality of it. Mm. I just, it's, you, you can become a dragon. Like Benedict Cumberbatch did that with the Hobbit movies. He became you know, the dragon so small. Intense. He's like, yeah. <laughs> and it's. Was he a dog? Stop, Michael. Stop. <laughs> I know, because I was thinking the exact same thing the moment I did it. I was like, that's a poor choice. It's a poor effort. All right. Let's not let's right. not let that be the last thing. Let's take one more question and then that's right. it. Let's do it. Uh, any questions? Any questions? Any questions? But we're, while we're yeah. finding a question here, thank you very much for tuning in. This has been a pleasure. We'll do one last question and then we'll say goodbye to everyone and have a lovely evening and you know stay tuned and safe and sound in these horrible times as well. Stay inside. Mm -hmm. Do your effort to not spreading this horrible virus any further. Um, one last question, Margo. Do you, you want me to take anything? it? Yeah, have you found Let me see. Let me read some of this. I love you guys. We love you. Oh, I really wow. love you, uh, Marco. Yeah, um, I love you. I love you. Can you me, please? Uh, Margo. Marco. Margo, um, can you hear me? Uh, Alex, does your, work, <laughs> does your legs work again? They, uh, they do. They do. They do. Um, they do. Thank God. So there's, there's, uh, okay, I have a question for you, Margo. Go on. Um, what is your skincare routine? My skincare routine? Yeah, no, it was not my Did, did you read that out loud? Yeah, yeah no, yeah, that was, that was, I, I'm, I'm not going to answer that question, but you're going to answer my question. What is your skincare okay. routine? I'm sorry. I'm, I think I'm going through a tunnel, mate, or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Let let, let that be the last words. Um, stay safe. Stay sound. And hug your loved ones. And um, all the best to, to you. This was um, watching with Alex Anderson and uh, Mark Wilson and in with HBO Nordic. So um, hope you enjoyed the last season of Vikings. And um, all the best to you. How do I do this? Goodbye, everyone.